form, rear brake and front brake. Form, the clutch and the throttle. Form, the shift. And I'll form the brain. What up, everybody? Welcome to the Keep Living channel. I am the KL Rider. So let's get into this. We're going to learn how to ride a motorcycle, and we're going to start right now with basic controls. So on your left side, you have your clutch. Left side is your clutch. Left side is your clutch. Left side at your foot. If you can see, left side. Left side is going to be your shift. Clicking down and clicking up. Clicking down Clicking down, if you can see, clicking up, clicking down on the shift, clicking up on the shift, down on the shift, up on the shift, clicking down on the shift, clicking up on the shift. Right side, front brake. Right side, front brake, right side, front brake, right side, front brake, right side, at your foot, rear brake, right side, rear brake, right side, foot, rear brake right side foot rear brake right side foot rear brake your clutch your front brake shifted down at your left side foot right foot down is your rear brake this is your all important throttle. Your throttle. Your throttle. This is just your handlebar. It doesn't move. It stays here. Your throttle rotates forwards and backwards. Okay. Let's get into it. Your clutch. When you pull in the clutch, there is no power going to the bike meaning there is no power going to the rear wheel to push your bike forward. Letting go of the clutch brings back power towards the rear wheel. Pulling in the clutch takes away the power from the rear wheel. Letting go of the clutch releases power to the rear wheel. Pulling in the clutch takes away the power going to the rear wheel to push your bike. Releasing the clutch. Releasing the clutch adds power back to the rear wheel. Front brake. Your front brake is 70%, 70% stopping power. 70% stopping power 70 percent stopping power is your front brake which is your front wheel your front brake is 70 percent of your overall bike's braking power your rear brake your rear brake is 30 percent of your bike's overall stopping power Okay, meaning that your front brake is responsible 
for literally 75 70 to 75 percent of your stopping power comes from your rear brake okay your throttle this is your throttle your throttle controls the speed of your motorcycle your throttle dictates if you want to go fast your throttle dictates if you want to go slow when you rotate your hand backwards you are revving the throttle meaning that you are giving the bike more power more gas to go faster when your hand rotates forward you are decreasing speed to your motorcycle you are decreasing power and gas to that motorcycle and you're going to dis decrease speed and that is relative to your rpms which we'll get into another video your rpms will display <clears throat> how much power you are giving your bike before it's actually time to shift to the next gear all right so this is how much power you have to give speed or decrease speed this is your clutch remember what i said your clutch is to take away power from the bike if your bike is moving let's say at 20 miles per hour you pull in the clutch pulling in the clutch is going to take away power going to the rear wheel but it doesn't mean that your bike is going to just stop your bike is going to continue to roll like a wheel will roll until there's no gravitational force to keep the wheel actually moving forward and it'll eventually come to a stop on its own by itself when this clutch is pulled in when you release the clutch you are giving that rear wheel power to move the bike forward which adds traction to the ground and that's how you're able to actually keep upright on the, on your bike all right so just remember that working in tandem everything together all in tandem your clutch your hand should be here your front brake your throttle and i'm on the handlebar you look at my hands how i'm holding it some people will hold it with two fingers. I'm going to show you <clears throat> what I think is probably the best way for a beginner. These fingers, all your fingers, should be able to reach both of these levers. Okay? The positioning of the levers is very important. If you notice, my clutch lever and my brake lever are pointing slightly downwards. That's so I don't make a mistake and rev the throttle by accident because I'm trying to pull in the front the front brake. If you ever seen those videos where people sit on a bike and then soon as they get on, the bike just revs and they just go out of control and they smash right into a tree. Two things. One, they don't know what they're doing. Two, this lever can be so far up <coughs> that it causes them to just automatically roll their wrist backwards, which increases the speed of your bike into a fire hydrant. You don't want that, all right? So to position your hands on the bike, when you position your hands, you position your hands in a reverse supinated pro position. A reverse supinated pro position. What do I mean by that? Meaning, you don't want your hands to be like this, which is pronated. Why is that? Because you have more throttle that you can engage. If you look at my right hand, you have more throttle you can engage all the way down. You don't want that as a beginner because when you get on the bike, as soon as you get on, you're going to get on and you're going to go like this. And then zoom, you're taking off. When you get on your bike, and my bike is off right now, we'll get into that in another video. When you get on your bike, you place your hands in a reverse supinated position, or supinated if you want to pronounce it that way. Meaning, 
your wrist should be like this, upside down. Reason being, when you put your hand on the on the uh, the bars, notice when I put my hand here, I can't really go that much further. You see what I'm saying? I can't really go that much further. So I'm not going to zip off if my hand was up here and I get on a bike and now I'm, you know, revving the throttle like that. You don't want to do that. You want to keep your hands off the throttle somewhat, pushing against it and, re and, and relaxing. So that way you don't get that extra speed, that extra speed burst out of, out of nowhere. OK, pulling in the clutch is what you're going to be doing pretty much most of the time at red lights when you come to a stop and we'll explain that in another video but pulling in this clutch engaging your front brake rolling off the throttle all right so we got your clutch your front brake your throttle your shifter your rear brake these are your basic controls. The next video will get into exactly what they do. But I'm repeating this so you know what it is. Your clutch, again, takes away power going to the rear wheel. Meaning when you pull in this clutch all the way, it disengages power and your bike won't move if you're still. If you release the clutch, your bike will begin to move. If you release the clutch too fast and you don't give enough power going at the same time, your bike is going <coughs> to pretty much lock up and um, it's going to shut off. But we'll get into that. But just know your clutch, this is your clutch, this is your front brake, this is your throttle, your shifter, your rear brake, your clutch, your front brake, your throttle, your throttle, shifter, rear brake, clutch, rear brake, no, I'm sorry, clutch, <laughs> front brake, throttle, Clutch, front brake, throttle. Clutch, front brake, throttle. Shift, this is your gear shifter. Gear shifter, left foot. Gear shifter, left foot. Right foot, rear brake, right foot, rear brake. Clutch, front brake, 70% of your overall bike stopping power. Rear brake, 30% of your overall bike stopping power both important this one is the most important one especially in emergency situations your clutch aids your front brake in helping the bike to slow down to optimum speeds in order to stop you pull in the clutch slightly brake Roll off the throttle. We'll get into hand positions and all of that, but I just want you to know what the controls are. Your clutch, front brake, throttle, shift, rear brake. Rear brake, front brake, your throttle, your clutch, this is just a handlebar, your shifter. Got it? Do we got that? One more time. Clutch. Front brake. Throttle. Shifter. Rear brake. Clutch. Takes away power from the rear wheel to push your bike forward. Front brake. Slows your bike down tremendously by adding 70-75% to your braking power. Your throttle increases speed, decreases speed. Your rear brake, 30-35% of your overall bike stopping power. Front brake, rear brake. Front brake, 
rear brake at your feet, clutch, shifter. Your clutch is on the left hand side, shifter is on the left hand side. Front brake is on the right hand side, your throttle is on the right hand side, your rear brake is on the right hand side. Got it? Watch the video again if you need to know the positions of these controls. I'll see you on the next video and we'll get into actually starting the bike and turning it on. <laughs>